a few things today. Uh, this is a motor which I got the idea from from Magnet Man and uh, the way that he had his rotors and you can see there there's actually quite a fair gap between the top of the pin the needle and the magnet at the top and uh, this one runs from water now we've got a piece of burnt copper and a piece of galvanized steel there's the water bottle standard purified water there put the water in try and give it a spin see if it'll start up There we are. Doesn't flash. The LED doesn't flash. This is one of Smart Creations 2010's circuits. And it doesn't flash if the motor's whizzing around quite nicely. But it does when it's uh, basically stopped. Anyway, that one's running from water. And we've got this one over here, which is running from solar at the moment. And comically enough, uh, I saw Illusion 1's video yesterday, and it got a small propeller from a helicopter, an RC helicopter on his. So that's uh, pretty much the same sort of thing. Um, that circuit there comes from one of these these little flower things you get from the dollar store. Yeah, that's turning away all right there. I actually prefer this circuit. As you can see, that's running quite a bit quicker. And uh, this, this one normally goes under my 13-watt um, table lamp. And spins around a little bit quicker on that than the than the solar in the late afternoon. Now the next thing is, remember the cell for, that fell down the back of the dresser? Some people might remember. I put a couple of drops of water to it after it ran out a couple of weeks ago, and it started back up again. That's a heck of a long-term one, that one. And there we are, still flashing away. And the last thing is another salt cell, and that is to try out. Have you ever seen these heater meals? We've got a couple of these some time back and when you add water to the pouches it all heats up and cooks your meal for you. I thought, well, what would that do inside a, a salt cell? So there's about 90% of that stuff in that capacitor can there. And the rest of the ingredients are the pretty normal stuff. Salt substitute, alum and Epsom salts. Just a pinch of each. And then instead of water I've got the SPF 50 uh, suntan cream and that's because of the zinc oxide but it also works to mix everything together so there's no water in this cell and it's been running since the 18th of this month and I'll see how long this one lasts and then I'll do an experiment I guess uh, with just the uh, just the face cream and the heater mill stuff and see what happens so there we are a few experiments and thanks for watching Just a couple of notes now that the sun's moved. Uh, this one has only got two magnets on it, and the other two sides are transistors, and they were to balance out the weight of it. So I quite like that. But also, the reason why I like these rotors is, well, they're not connected to anything. It's just the end of the needle that touches the, uh, well, in this case, it's a bathroom tile, and then they, uh, they just stay attracted to the magnet at the top there. And then off they go.